okay guys um, um, I wanted to show um, how we can make this guy uh, go back and forth okay uh, first thing I want to show is how we can make this guy go from here to all the way to here and uh, restart here okay um, let's see um, we want to do basically kind of forever right forever we want to repeat something and uh, go to motion move 10 steps and uh, so he's going to move keep moving 10 steps right and uh, until he reaches this end so um, then i want him to move to the back here so you can see it's around 200 and above here this is minus 200 x axis so i'm just going to check whether uh, whether x is reaching above 200 okay so under control we have this if statement i'm just moving it there and uh, let's see uh, i go to operator we are going to check whether x is greater than 200 so this is the operator i'm just going to put it in that box there so then this one i'm just going to type in 200 so <coughs> here then control no just motion if you go under motion there's a x position y position direction wow there's a direction too anyway the x position i'm just going to drag x position and put it there it's a little bit strange it's square run but that's it does accommodate that x position see that's why this is a drag and drop programming see you do lot of dragging so when x position is greater than 200, we want to set x to x and I just want to set x to minus 200, okay? So I think we are all set. We are moving forever and whenever it's greater than 200, we reset the x position to 200, minus 200, okay? Okay, let's play. See, as soon as he reached this uh, end, he kind of goes back. I don't know whether you can see it properly. And uh, it's basically he just goes back and restarts and all that. Okay. Okay. So, a few other things we can do. Let's see. The There was somewhere there's a glide, isn't it? Yeah, right here that's a glide instead of setting you can just make him glide back you know all those fancy things you can do you now what let me first delete this statement so I put it in there so glide y was 0 I guess x minus 200 so let's see how what happens so it kind of comes here and kind of glides back <laughs> kind of looks funny um okay um so okay so that's another way and how about really we make him kind of go back and forth it comes here turn around and back go back and forth right um how about turn turn around well you can do instead of this turn turn right 115 turn left 15 really doesn't matter as we know turning around is 180 degrees right so let's make him turn around well that's upside down right let's see so so in fact when you reach there also we want him to turn around so that is something you can just do duplicate this and put it here and we want the expression less than 200 we want to turn around right let's see uh, less than 200 sensing operators again if x is less than 200 okay so now exposition there we don't need this 
and minus 200 lot of drag and drop right so let's see now uh, first you have to start it in the right place uh, let's make him come in between there we go no it doesn't want to turn if exposition is less than 180 it should turn around i think here okay let's see um, <laughs> he's stuck in this upside down position oh wrong place for if statement it should be in the outside okay okay let's see okay okay wait a minute okay let's drag him out of here let's see there we go so it's working upside down and uh, turns around and work properly while it looks funny we are not interested in that we really want him to work properly both ways okay under motion under motion there is one interesting field down there stay set rotation style left to right see all around left, left to right you know so we are going to do left to right you know so now see what happens see so now when he hits it it's a more rotation of left to right looks a lot better right it doesn't go upside down anymore right so that's better so interestingly you know uh, this all this is actually unnecessary i mean of course we built it kind of along the way so what you are trying to do is this side hitting turn around this side hitting turn around that's exactly what this e on edge bounce does okay so you can you can get rid of all this stuff let's see let's stop here let's get rid of all this stuff and you find the edge bounce let's see how this works exactly same thing so so with a lot fewer statements we have managed to do uh, kind of back and forth working okay okay so that's nice um, now how about let's see um, what else I want to do uh, how about he makes kind of becomes bigger along the way here and becomes smaller along the way back okay so in fact I'm probably going to use this position this use this stuff okay so all the way here we want him to become bigger and uh, on the way back you want it to become smaller so how can you make bigger and smaller like under looks there's a change size okay and uh, let's see under control we have wait until or repeat until i'm just going to do a repeat until repeat until okay so repeat until repeat until the exposition become greater than 200 how about that you're just going to keep repeating until um so until it reach 200 and what are we going to do we are going to make him little bit bigger change size little bit bigger okay so then then um, similarly we are going to duplicate this statement right below be careful where you put okay it has to be below the repeat until don't put it inside so then we want to keep repeating as long as if it's a minus 200 okay so then we want to become bigger this way and reverse direction we want to become smaller I have a feeling 10 is pretty big so well we'll try it out oh we don't want this stuff I just want to get rid of this we can get rid of it later let's focus on this ready whoa we are 
moving what happened moving. so it's really big you know so um, and also it's kind of seemed to be stuck in this big position right so let's make sure he's starting out right looks let's see see set cut size to 100 initially I want him to uh, properly start okay and also let's see motion point in direction 90 degrees um, I think the 90 degrees means means the right side I don't know why they have done it that way I think that's what this means um, okay now let's see click on this it becomes pretty big because this is a uh, thing so let's do one more thing the move him to set tx to set tx to 200 okay and we are not taking ch any chances so we are uh, setting all those things but probably that's not needed anyway so we'll stop and we are going to make this uh, repeat until until we reach that condition we are going to repeat this okay okay so now ready oh we are not at turning right we should be turning once we repeat we should be turning that was missing too so turn turn around right there we are needed turn around right below also we need a turn around see and turn around 180 degrees right and this also is turn around 180 degrees no wonder that it was not moving okay so now let's ready to uh, ready to run click on this wow it became extremely small now. why is that oh move repeat and ah, repeat until this uh, all this uh, silly mistakes the move okay. the see now we are stuck in this repeat see so you, you need to have this move inside see duplicate inside all this becoming messy no 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 just delete this one alone is delete it's not easy to delete um, okay there you go minus two minus two okay let me clear all this stuff all this confusing stuff okay so what is this program we are setting up everything point at this direction uh, point this way and uh, set to 100 percent size reset because you might have stopped somewhere you know uh, set size to 200 um, side set x to 200 is that right we want to be zero i don't need 200 so then rotation style set forever we are we are going to do this repeat until with this guy reaches this end until then you keep moving and keep changing the size right and uh, then turn around and do the same thing until we reach the other end okay um, move 10 steps change the size by 2 okay minus 2 become smaller then turn around and repeat the whole thing again let's try so hopefully you can see him uh, becoming smaller and big, big, bigger and smaller bigger smaller right so you want to make that kind of little bit uh, crazy uh, you can do five and this is minus five so since we started normal and right in the center it became really big this side and really tiny when he goes to this side see okay so i hope you, you learned a uh, few more operations this time uh, the the rotation style we learned and point in direction and the repeat until loop okay so this is a conditional loop I, um, um, so I keep on repeating until this uh, can this is reached right this condition is satisfied 
So then you turn around and do the repeat, repeat again and turn around, uh, repeat, basically repeat again until you reach the other end and turn around and uh, repeat the whole thing again and again. Okay. Um, so now hopefully you manage to kind of stop the video. You can uh, stop the video along the way too and uh, try it out. Okay. Have fun.